Hello friends and welcome back another exciting episode. Today we're going to talk about Tracy Chapman's classic Fast Car. Of course Luke Combs resurrecting this song again but this is really something I remember when this first came out it was just something a little bit different and, and very cool. So let's take a look. Actually for beginners you could just play this song with simple chords. You could play C, G, E minor, and D and basically that's all you need for the whole song so you could do you got a fast car I want a ticket to anywhere and then on and on and just repeat that um, and then the chorus of course uses the same chords a little bit different but to do the signature which has become famous and synonymous with the song as soon as you hear this, you know fast car is coming, right? So let's take a look at how to do this. And it's it's a little bit tricky and a little bit of a stretch if you do it the way Tracy Chapman did it. But first of all, we're using a basic C chord, okay? And we're just going and we're playing the thumb on the five for the bass. And we're playing the second finger. And so we've got a hammer on to the C here. Okay, so that's the C chord, okay, hammer on, and what I like to do is I like to kind of double up that, so I'll play the E and the C, and I think you probably will see her do that also on some recordings or some videos. So I'm going to do a C and a hammer on with the E and the C. Okay, so it's going to be da, 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 da. Okay, and we're playing thumb, second finger, and then thumb, second finger on the fourth and the second string. Okay, so that's the C. Then when we go to the G, what she does is she's going to use the bluegrass version of Without the pinky, you don't really need the pinky, but you could if you wanted to double it. So we're going to go C, and then we're going to stick that G with the thumb again and the second finger. So, da, 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 and again, if you wanted to double that G there, da, 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 that sounds kind of neat too. But the main notes that you need to hit are that C, okay, and that G. And so just practice sticking that, da, 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 da. Now the next part is going to be the E minor chord, but we're going to play it up here on the 7th and 8th fret. Now what's cool about this is if you play the G, with the with the with the bluegrass style, which is one, two, three, right? All you have to do is slide those two fingers up to the seven and eight. They don't even have to come off the fretboard. Okay, so we've got da da da, and then we just slide up da, and then we pull them apart a little bit because we've got to go five seven for the D. Okay, so the E minor and the D. And the nice thing about this is it's nice open chords and you've got all these open strings around that you can really flavor this if you want. So you've got da 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 whoops da 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 because you are going to be playing this a lot. So you can use the other fingers and kind of color this a little bit, okay? And that's to your preference. One additional thing, sometimes on the intro on the recording, you'll hear the G, right? Then you'll go and you'll hear the E minor to the D. And then the next time you'll hear the So you'll hear that little da 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 and again because the little pinky is free she 
you can just reach up like that, two frets ahead, and then here one fret ahead. So that's a kind of a neat little addition. But basically, this is the this is the routine. Takes a little while to get used to it, but once you do, you can get into that riff, right? Or into that groove, if you will. You got a fast car. I want a ticket to anywhere. Maybe we can make a deal. Maybe together we can get somewhere. Any place is better. Starting from zero, got nothing to lose. Maybe we make something. Me and myself, I got nothing to prove. And you get the idea. A lot of words in this one. So now all we need to know is how to play the chorus. And the chorus is pretty simple. It's just a C, C for four, and a G for four, and an E minor for four, and a D for four. And then C, E minor, and then D for four, and then C, E minor, and that C to E minor is one and then two and three and four. The E minor coming on the and after the two. One and two and three and four. Da, 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 da. And then the last line, again, C, E minor on the and, right? C, E minor, and then D, I could be someone, and then C for two, D for two. And then we're back to... So working our way into the chorus, we're going to be... Da, da, da. Had a feeling that I belonged. I, I had a feeling I could be someone, be someone, be someone. And then back into the song, into the verse, right? You got a fast car. We go cruising to entertain ourselves. And on and on. So that's the song. Those are the pieces, the verse, the iconic. And of course the verse with the, with the chords. Put that together and I think you'll enjoy this song a lot. It's, it's a challenge to get all those words in, no question about it. But if you play it through a few times, People love this, so even if you don't sing the whole song, even if you just do this for a few verses, people will give you a standing ovation. So it's no wonder that Luke Combs took this one up and replayed it and re-recorded it because it is a lot of fun to play. It's iconic, Tracy Chapman, a simple little routine like this, and it's just genius because of its simplicity, really. So enjoy this, my friends, and I will see you again next time. Hope this helps you out. Remember, print those lyrics, give it a go, and see how it works out for you. Any comments, questions, by all means, I'm here, ready to respond. And of course, please subscribe to the channel so we can continue on giving you all these great little tidbits on our wonderful guitar journey.